Hey guys, and I'm excited to do this unboxing today. So we finally just got the HTC, HTC Desire 626S in the store. So finally, finally just came in. And I'm telling you, I'm excited for this phone. I've, I've been waiting for this phone for a long time, guys, to get it in the store. So here we go. Nice, nice, nice phone. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So the panel is just says pick a plan, activate, reboost, all that good stuff. Inside, here's what it looks like. It looks really, really nice, guys. It is way bigger than the original HTC. It's like five inches compared to 4.5. Let me see. So here's the original one. Oh, it might be the same. Actually, they're the same size. Huh. So they're both 4.5 inches. Or is this one bigger? I think this one's bigger, honestly, the screen size. So let's see what we have here. Android 5.1 Lollipop. That's really good. 5 inch um, display. 8 megapixel rear facing camera, guys. Whoa. 2 megapixels front facing camera. That is nice. Really, really good specs for this phone, guys. I am excited for this phone. It has HD voice enabled. It's 3G slash 4G. Let's look in the back for more specs. So here we go. Here, let me zoom in. So like I said, the key features is 5.1 lollipop, 5 inch HD display. That, oh my God. This phone, I'm telling you right now, it's going to sell like crazy, guys. 8 megapixel rear camera and 2 front. Uh, 3G slash 4G slash enhanced LT HD voice. It is. It does have eight gigabytes of ROM and 1.5 gigabytes of RAM of memory. So that's that's good. It has better um, RAM than the H or than the uh, was the LG than the LG Stylo at one, and then also the Volt too, I believe. It does have a 200 gigabyte micro SD card compatible, so you can put up to a 200 gigabyte. That's crazy. Um, it does have a 2000 milliamp battery and also has a 1.1 gigahertz quad core processor. So lately I've been seeing this 1.1 gigahertz quad core processor a lot, guys. Some people say it kind of sucks, it lags up, it ain't a 1.2 dual core, but it at least it has four cores, so that at least makes up for that. Really, really nice, guys. So I can't wait to do an, uh, an unboxing pretty soon. I'm going to start using this phone and see how it is. I might buy it for myself, honestly. So, let me go ahead and take this tab off. So, like I said, every every spec's pretty good. Maybe just not the processor. But still, it's decent enough, guys. Definitely, definitely like the 1.5 gigahertz. Or, sorry, 1.5 gigabyte RAM and also 8 gigabytes of ROM. Alright, so let's check what's inside. Ooh. And they do come in colors, but mainly I've seen white. But I know they come in colors, so let's pop it open, guys. Oh my god. Look at this phone, guys. It looks so, so nice. It does kind of look like the HTC 510, but this one's just a lot, lot better. Let me see if I can zoom that in. There we go. Look at the camera on that thing. That looks amazing. And then this one's the one that actually has the speakers in the front, guys. A lot of people thought the 510 had the speakers in the front. Nope. So on the right, it has... Whoa. Look at this. The volume up. The volume down. Or the volume rockers. The power button. Let's see what's on the left. And I'm guessing this is where you put your your memory card. So that probably means you can't take off the the back. Now removable battery. Let me see if I can zoom that in. There we go. SIM card and SD card. Yep. Kind of reminds me, honestly, like kind of like an iPhone. I'll tell you why. Let me go back to autofocus. Let's look in the back. Look at this thing. The bag just kind of reminds me of it. But nice, nice big camera, guys. Let me zoom in. Or autofocus it. Look at that. It does have a flash compared, unlike the HTC 510. Your back mic back here. Nice HTC logo right there. So, yeah, guys. Overall, the phone looks amazing, honestly. Let's see what else it comes with. It does come with your manual, so get started. 
Nice, nice, nice. And it does come with a traveler adapter. And also your charging. So really, really nice, guys. And it, it, what I like about this is it's two pieces instead of one. Real nice. A lot of people just like the USB cable to have. And it comes in a nice little kind of silky bag. Nice, nice feel to it. So yeah, guys, I, like I said, I can't wait to do a review on this phone. I'm excited. My wife, I think, even wants to buy this phone too, even though she has a freaking iPhone. But a, I don't know. We just use them to watch Netflix and stuff. Um, so yeah, guys, right now the selling price is $129.99. That's the regular phone's price, but new activation or upgrade, you can get it for $79.99. And then if you port over your number from a different company, you can get it at $29.99. So that, I'm telling you, is going to sell like crazy. Um, so yeah, guys. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this. Are you excited for the review? And also, uh, like I said, hit that subscribe button, comment, um, give it a nice thumbs up. And also, if you want, you can support me on Patreon so I can keep doing cool things like this. Um, thank you very much, guys.